Hey guys, welcome to the Slumberyard. In this video by the backlight, you probably guessed it, we're talking about purple. So we're talking about how the original purple mattress stacks up against the purple hybrid and how those two mattresses, you know, compare against the purple hybrid premier line, the three and the four. Hey guys, I'm JD with the Slumberyard and over here we review all things online beds and online bedding products. So if you've been checking out something online and you want some more information about it, at least within the whole online sleep space, head on over to our website, myslumberyard.com or check down below in the description box of this video screen. If you enjoy this video, you may get something out of it. We helped you out towards your decision on a purple bed today. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for so much more. But in this video, we're gonna start off by covering the policies that these beds come with. Then we're gonna delve into the similarities between them all. We'll talk about the differences, where they compare, where they contrast, how much they cost. And at the end, we'll even sum things up with a final verdict. So stick around. But without further ado, let's get right into it. At the slumber yard. In terms of shipping, these beds are all gonna ship to you with completely free bed in a bag shipping. So rather than a big four foot tall box, the purple mattresses usually will all arrive in a big slender bag, which you basically drag into your room and unpackage, you roll off all that plastic packaging, and then you will have a purple mattress that will expand right before your eyes. Now the purple original, since this is an awful mattress, it might take a little bit longer than the hybrid models to really inflate to its true form. It might take like a couple hours, maybe even a day, but just know that going forward, the hybrid ones will probably pop right into their original shape. Well, the original purple might take some time. But in any case, once they're in your possession, you also get a trial period of 100 100 nights to test them out at home risk-free before you're stuck with them. So you basically get a little over three months to see if these beds are right for you or not. And if they're not for whatever reason, you can get completely free returns within those first 100 nights. Though Purple as a brand will probably ask you to try them out for at least 30 full nights before you make your final decision. But in the case you do wanna keep them, which I think should be the case for most folks out there as they're really quality, interesting beds, they're backed by 10 year warranties pretty much. And if you want any more information about the policies that I just kinda went over, check in the description. We should have some more helpful stuff down there for you. And before I forget, I do wanna mention that Purple, the brand, did send us these mattresses for free to review and tell you guys about them. But if you were to buy one of them online, that's basically all the policy stuff that you're gonna be backed by. Just know that. But aside from all that policy stuff, the main thing that all of them share in common is the purple stuff on top. It's called Hyper Elastic Polymer, otherwise known by the brand as the Purple Grid. This stuff is a gel-like material that's laid out in a grid format across the top of the entire mattress. It almost resembles a rubber rather than a foam. It's really strong stretchy and responsive, and it gives all of the purple mattresses a really unique feel. When you lay down on your back on a purple mattress, you almost feel buoyant and weightless, kind of like you're floating above the bed rather than laying directly on it. But then when you go to switch to your side from your back, that material does a pretty good job at conforming to the shape of your shoulders and hips, offering a nice amount of pressure relief. Even though it is kind of strange at first glance, we found that the majority of sleepers out there really like the feel that's found on purple. And that grid format, because it's laid out in a grid format, also allows these beds to have a ton of airflow. When you press down on a purple bed, you can almost feel some of that air circulating through the bed. So these are gonna be great options, all of them at the end of the day for hot sleepers. They aren't necessarily gonna be active cooling options, but they will probably sleep temperature neutral on you at the end of the day. So they all share a very similar type of really interesting feel, but one of the main differences between all of them has to do with construction. So the original purple bed, this one sitting right behind me, is an all foam mattress by default. And that means that it uses dense foam on the bottom rather than support coils, which makes it probably most supportive for medium to petite sized individuals. If you are heavier, say in the range of 200 pounds and up, you're probably gonna wanna look into a hybrid bed that'll offer you tons more support and durability on a nightly basis. And lucky for you, the Purple Hybrid and the Purple Hybrid Premier beds do use pocketed coil layers for support by default. So those are gonna be best for bigger body types. Now the firmness between all of these beds is also gonna be different and that's mainly due to the amount of hyperelastic polymer that you're gonna be getting on top of all of these purple beds. The original purple uses two inches of the purple grid on top and it's around a medium as we found over here at the Slumberyard, and it should work out great for all sleeper types. The Purple Hybrid also uses two inches of purple grid on top, but it is gonna be a little bit firmer due to the coils below. We would clock it at right around a medium firm on our scale, so it should work fine for all sleeper types, but it's probably gonna work out best for stricter back and stomach sleepers looking for tons of support from their purple bed. Now you've got two different options with the Purple Hybrid Premier line, a three inch and a four inch. The three inch, since it uses a little bit more of that purple grid on top, it's gonna be right in between a medium and a medium firm. And since the four inch naturally uses four inches, it's gonna be a tinge bit softer than that, closer to a medium. 
Now those firmness rakings are based on an average sized individual. If you're heavier, you could feel these beds to be a little bit softer than that. And conversely, if you're more petite, you'd find them to be a little bit firmer. But you know, if you do want a purple mattress that'll be a little bit softer in general for side sleepers, they do also offer the Purple Plus, which is a newer all foam offering from the brand. That bed is around a medium soft, gonna be really pressure relieving for most side sleepers out there. And as a brand, they also offer the Purple Kids bed and the New Day, which is a more affordable offering that they recently came out with. We'll try to link all those other options from the brand down below in the description box if you wanna check them out for yourself or something like that. But now let's get into pricing. So how much are you really gonna be shelling out for all these purple mattresses? And right up top, I do wanna say that mattress pricing within the space does change often. So if you want the most current and up-to-date stuff, check in the description. We usually like to keep that stuff pretty updated. And also keep in mind, I'm filming this right around President's Day and around major holidays like this one, mattress brands like to run really great promotions on their products. So keep that in mind. But as of when I'm recording, you can expect to pay right around the $1,400 range MSRP for a queen size original purple mattress. After discount, I think they're running around like $1,200. And that's a really good price point for a bed of this quality. In terms of the purple hybrid, after discount, you can expect to pay right around $2,000, you know, give or take. And that is again for the queen size purple hybrid after discount. In terms of the purple hybrid premier line, these are their most premium mattresses and the pricing certainly reflects that notion. I don't really wanna get into that pricing because it is up there and it tends to change often. So again, the most current and up-to-date stuff should be found in our description. But that is pretty much gonna sum it up for our purple mega comparison, so to speak. You know, between all of these purple beds, I think you just have to be a more adventurous buyer who's willing to try out something completely different yet also really comfortable. Purple is a really popular brand for a reason. They're great quality mattresses, but at the end of the day, who should go with which option and why? Well, over here at the Slumberyard, we'd say look into the original purple. If you're interested in trying out an all foam bed with a unique feel and you want a bed that's right around a medium and you want the most affordable option after discount, check out the Purple Hybrid if you want a supportive coil bed that also has a unique feel, but a bit of a firmer profile for back and stomach sleepers. And then finally, consider the Purple Hybrid Premier beds. If you also want a hybrid purple mattress that offers a bit more of a comfort advantage and you don't mind spending up for the most premium options from the purple brand, but that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. What do you guys think? When it comes to all of these purple mattresses, which one are you ultimately gonna go with and why? Write us down below in the comments and let us know your thoughts. If you need any more information about all these purple beds, again, check the description box. We've got tons of helpful links for you down there in addition to discount codes to help save you the most amount of money possible on these things. And if you do use those discounts, it actually helps to support us over here at the Slumberyard and we always really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, shoot us a like, consider subscribing to the Slumberyard for so much more, but that's gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with the Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well out there and like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe.